Hey, it's me, Jimmy. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a brand new episode of Fallout New Vegas. In fact, let's 100% Fallout New Vegas on hard difficulty. God, all my intros are running together. It's tricky to keep track of all of them. Uh, yeah, this is on hard difficulty, and I just want to check, as usual, to make sure that everything's all good. Difficulty hard. Tempted to put it to very hard. We're pretty good. We're pretty strong. Should I put it on very hard? Uh, the only, again, the only problem with very hard on New Vegas is that if you die in the middle of the wasteland, you have to go all the way back to where you started. And that can be really, really, really annoying. And also, your health bar can just melt from full to nothing, like in an instant. And that can be quite annoying indeed. Uh, no, 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 save on rest, yes, save on wait, yes, uh, let's try, why not, let's try it for this episode, we'll try on very hard, why not, it could be the, yeah, that could be a huge mistake, there are some tough enemies in this DLC as far as I remember, this is being live recorded on Twitch, so you know the deal, if you'd like to come over and watch live, the link is in the description below, or just go to twitch.tv slash girlvana and hit that follow button. And I think Twitch has got a bell as well, just like YouTube does. Back in my day, you used to be able to hit the follow button just knowing somebody was live. You didn't have to hit no bells. What the heck is the bells about? But yeah, I guess hit the notification. I mean, it's more for you, man. If you want to do it and know when I'm live, then you do it. I don't like promoting shit, even though that's probably attributes to, you know, stuff not being promoted. But it makes me feel skeezy. What can I say? Either way, come on over if you want to watch this stuff live. We usually do one live episode a week. Welcome back. Uh, nice to see people liking the live episodes. I do try to give them my all usually and have a good time. And also, they're an hour long, so we get more stuff done. But uh, let's take a look at what we're doing. Speaking of getting stuff done, we're going to go to data. Look at that pimp boy. Three billion. Oh, it's shiny. Uh, we're going to go to quests. We've got X8 High School Whore. Enter the X8 Residential Test Facility. Residential test facility. We've got X8 data retrieval test. Activate institutional data retrieval test advanced at the X8 test terminal. Oh, both of these are for the same spot. Interesting. We've got sonic emitter upgrade. Begin the advanced institutional test at the X8 test terminal. We've got all my friends have off switches. Uh, find the missing modules for the sync auto dock at the biological research station. Oh, that would be good. That'd be kind of good to do on a live streamed episode. I wonder if we should just switch gears. Strange transmissions, X2 transmitter, antenna array, yada, yada, yada. Attack of the infiltrator, travel to the X13 research facility. Wild card change in management. <laughs> that stuff is not, not neither here nor there. So do we do the interesting stuff since we're doing a live episode, or do we do the boring stuff that we're going to have to do eventually anyways? I wonder. We could do this. Find the missing modules for the sync auto dock in the biological research station. It'd be good for the Twitch people because they haven't seen the episode with this stuff yet. It'd be bad for the YouTube people because it's not the most interesting. It could be interesting. It's on very hard difficulty shit. Yeah, let's try that. Let's switch gears. We can always return to the X8 facility and finish those other things. I gotta remember this is on very hard because Jesus Christ, you're gonna see our health bar just dwindle to nothing. It's gonna be quite sad, <laughs> in fact. Ooh, uh, that would make a neat thumbnail. Let's save here. Right about the new save. Let's make a new save. Give me one second. Let's make um, a note. TN equals dome at night. Two plus two equals Forbidden idiots of the think tank. Uh, and I'm gonna make sure to uh, disable my webcams because I keep forgetting to disable the webcams when I take the th uh, the thumbnail. Okay, let's go try to find the sync stuff. So that's pretty fun. Uh, I mean, I find it fun. I find grindy shit fun a lot of the time, ironically. I, I, not everybody does, but I do. Because, I don't know, I played a lot of video games at this point in my life. And it's like... It's like... Where are you going, pal? Oh, God! Okay, okay, very hard difficulty. Nice to see- oh, whew, I was just about to say nice to see our damage hasn't dwindled too much. And then take a look at my health. I think there's another dog behind us. Uh, stats and status. Go to status and doctor's bag and boop, boop, boop. Good. Man, it's good we started taking medical perks. Okay, hey. Dude, 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 dude. Dude, fire! What's going on? 
What's going on? It just won't fire the button. The right trigger. Is it my controller? That was bizarre. Okay. Okay, mm. one more. Gotta watch out for our own, like, technological explosions. Oh, and I have to realize also. Dude, how many more dogs are there? I heard another bark. I think there's a dog nipping at my heels again. Jesus, how many dogs? Oh boy, okay. We'll see how very hard difficulty goes. And I'm also trying not to overuse vats either. I'm trying to, dude, really? I swear to God, man, this hollow rifle, I know I've said it a lot. It has such an ability. Look, there goes Avery looking straight up at the stars. This hollow rifle has such an ability to just miss pixel after pixel. Okay, if y'all could leave me alone. I got a lot of things to clean up, all right? I don't want this entire episode to be combat. It's good when we have a balance between combat and also dialogue. Mountain space, five out of 35. Visit every big mountain location. That's another reason to promote my Twitch channel because we, we are going to, of course, uh, find every single big mountain location. Eh. So if you would like to see every single one, and trust me, uh, as far as exploration goes, I think Old World Blues is just about the best in terms of exploration. It's uh, definitely a lot of fun. A lot of the... God, how many... Does it actually spawn more enemies on very hard, I wonder? Because this is insanity, dude. Can you land? Thank you. This is insanity. <laughs> there are so many enemies, but we're not taking too much damage, which is good. Okay, I need you. Oh my god, and another one. Does it end? Does it end? Jeez Louise. Hold still for me. Yeah. That explosion is just so gosh darn satisfying. Holy moly. Okay, any more? I mean, I'll kill the entirety of Big Mountain if you want. Jeez. Okay, so what we're trying to do, by the way, is this where we're going? Elevator to Y7. I think there are more. No, there's not. That That's the electrical zapping of this this stuff over here. Uh, what's this? It's a metal box. Thank you. Elevator to Y17 medical facility. Uh, what is that icon? Is that the Lonesome Road icon? It is, right? The Old World flag or whatever? Weird. So cool how all these DLCs tie together. All right, so we're, we're looking for the sync components. Which, if you don't know anything about Old World Blues, basically, you have a base called the Sink. Dude, I need to stop missing every other attack. God, you are strong! Might go back down to hard. This is just like Combat Central. Maybe, are we getting more experience? Like, is there any benefits at all? If this was Skyrim, there would be. Because we'd be getting more experience for, like, having to attack something 1,800 times. But this being New Vegas, I'm not so sure. We're getting, like, 65 experience a pop. <laughs> and we're wasting all of our hollow rifle ammo. Another one! Can, can we stop? I've killed so many things. I have killed so many things. A great many, in fact. You ain't gonna clean up any blood, pal. Don't worry about clean. Don't worry about blood cleanup. You're not gonna have to worry about that, because all that's gonna be left to clean up is metallic scrap. Tony Stark built this in a cave with a box of scraps. You know, when I watched Iron Man for the first time, I never realized who Jeff Bridges was. I was a wee little baby. I didn't even know Jeff Bridges was like a famous actor. But GV, the big Lebowski. Yeah, I didn't see it uh, at that time. Valence Radii Accentuator. Oh, right. I forgot about these. So there's like these weird uh, scientific uh, halo things. Health re Oh, and it gives you ha uh, health regen. That's right. That's right. Those are so bizarre. In fact, I think it's going to be good to wear those. Uh, we need to conserve our stim packs. I got to remember to do that. Um, okay, so let's see. Valence... Oh, this is so... I need to buy a new Xbox One controller, man. This this Xbox One controller has a lot of issues. I'm telling you. Valence Radii Accentuator affects health regen endurance plus one. That is very good. That is very, very, very good. So that's definitely going to be better than the other stuff. And it looks really weird. We've got that. <laughs> Wait, what? Why are we bald? 
Does that just make us bald? Wait, what? That must make us bald. I did not make Avery bald. Yeah, there's Avery's luscious locks. What in the heck? Oh, uh, I don't like that, but the health regen and the endurance are too good. Oh, shoot. The portals. That's right. The, uh, the what do you call them? Auto dock upgrade implant C13. Note added auto dock upgrade implant C13. Auto dock upgrade implant C13. This holotape contains an upgrade file for the Sync Robotic Assistance auto dock. Great. Shit, I totally forgot about the uh, the uh, the force fields, which means we're not going to be able to get through all the locations. We need to we need to make that a priority. You need to get the sonic emitter guns upgrade. Woo! Auto dock upgrade cosmetic enhancements. This is why the deal this DLC is so good. So yeah, it's just it's the same thing every time we grab one of those. But this DLC gives you so much stuff. It's like it's the typical thing back when this game first came out, where like all the DLCs would give you a lot of bonuses. Sync project auto dock. There it is. Sync Project Auto Dock. Now, how do I find this? Auto tape contains the functionality profile for the Sync Robotic Assistance Auto Dock. Now, it's interesting because it says the functionality, so I think that's just going to be the practical application where it lets us actually install it and use the Auto Dock. But you can also get personality profiles, which are the fun part of it. I've got a terminal here. What does this do? Welcome, user. Sierra Madre test case. Sierra Madre is where the first DLC was dead money. Yeah, Sinclair. I heard one of the new... I heard one of the execs mention that whether Sinclair knew it or not, the Sierra Madre would be a test case for the auto dock and the innovative toxins research. Maybe they were joking, but even that kind of a joke sends a chill down my spine. I don't know what accent this is, man. If I got poisoned by one of those toxins, no way would I crawl inside one of the Y-17 auto docks here if my life depended on it. The medical tech with these trauma suits alone make me wish they'd erase their research. The suits do more thinking than the people inside of them. Whether Sinclair do it or not, the Sierra Madre would be a test case for the auto dock. Is that why all that toxins are everywhere in dead money oh yeah see all these dlcs tied tied uh tie with each other it's cool y17 trauma harness testing results the y17 trauma harness has succeeded beyond our wildest expectations the test harnesses were able to take over the motive functions of an injured subject and walk them back to home base we'll have to see what develops once it's recorded enough narrow automuscular movements to display a wider range of behaviors to think if they could be programmed to replicate a wearer's shooting or fighting reflexes we'd have something truly amazing for the war effort so yeah these y17 trauma harnesses are the like the the horror shows of like skeletons these are actual enemies in this dlc but they're like walking skeletons it's horrifying because it's like suits that took over the living uh it's suits that like are basically walking skeletons. It's, it's really messed up y17 trauma harness action items some issues still remain to be ironed out before the Y-17 trauma harness is ready for general production. Calibrating the proper amount of injury to trigger the suit remains problematic. Still, the little Yangtze subjects could hardly protest once inside the harness. If the home base is not designated, the suit enters an unpredictable, unpredictable wonder state. And, as we discover while calibrating injury levels, the suit sensors are unable to recognize when the wearer is dead. Yeah. Luckily, autonomous corpse retrieval is nearly as useful as autonomous casualty, casualty recovery. What is it with Fallout and scientists, man? They just lose their entire humanity. I wonder, is it because... Alright, yeah, so we can't go through there just yet. Which means we probably do have to go back to the main quest stuff. Because I forgot about that. You need the, the portal gun. Not from portal. You know what I mean. You need the, um, the barrier gun to be able to fully explore all these locations. So I think we will go back. So, that's this stuff here. It's actually these three quests. Advanced test for the X8... Okay, that's the same thing. And then this is the residential test facility? What is that? Let's just do all the X8 stuff, I guess. Yeah, we kind of have to do this to prepare for the other stuff, so. I was wanting to do, like, side stuff since we're doing a live episode. But nevertheless. Uh, yeah, I wonder if it's literally, like, a, a tie to, like, higher intelligence decreases empathy. Because this is, I mean, that's pretty typical, right? Like, super-duper scientists, you know, a lot of them are on the, on the spectrum, right? I mean, that's like a cliche thing, but I'm just saying, like, uh, a lot of um, stuff on the spectrum usually denotes, like, less empathy, right? So is that why scientists are typically portrayed as having, like, no 
morality, you know, in video games and media. I'm not talking about in real life. I'm just talking about in video games and media. Is, is that why, like, it's, you know, scientists are so cold and calculated? I don't know. It's interesting. Nevertheless, what do we even do, man? There's, like, three different things here. I'm confused. Do we do the resident? What is the residential test facility? Uh, that's what I'm mainly confused. Because we have the advanced test. What the heck is the residential test? Is that this? Residential test facility. Are we running the advanced test, though? I, we'll just do all of this. I have no idea, man. This was always so confusing to me because there was, like, different X's. X2, X8, X13. It's like, could have named these different things, I feel, but... Scientists, I guess, enter the X8 residential test facility. All right, so this is on very hard. We'll try to go with very hard until we, like, have to... Oh, I saved over the thumbnail saved. Gosh darn it, that's okay. Door to X8 residential test facility. Let's head... Right. Yeah, this is where we... Oh, I forgot about Gabe. Okay. Gabe is a gigantic cyber dog. This actually would make an even better thumbnail, so it all works out in the end. Uh, Gabe is a giant cybernetic dog. Um, a boss, in fact. Let's take a look. Search Gabe's digging spots in the X8 residential test facility for the audio sample of Gabriel's bark. Gabriel's bark? By Gabriel's bark! Yeah! Oh shit. <laughs> that dealt like no damage to him. So since we have no stealth, we're pretty much gonna. Oof! So sorry, pal. Since we have no stealth, we're pretty much gonna have to kill Gabe. Is this gonna kill me? Oh shit, I just realized this is gonna kill me no matter what, isn't it? No matter where I am. Oh god, let's get in there! Wait! Um, how do you- Oh shit, I'm so dead. <laughs> this is way too much time, so I think it's gonna kill the entire room. But I've kinda made my bed. So let's lie in it. Probably. Oh, okay, so you, okay, you are actually safe. Although that was a giant explosion. It was pretty much like a, 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 a mini nuke going off. So you don't want to be anywhere near it. I think this is where Gabe was. Yeah, dog hide, energy cells, energy cell overcharge, fission battery, L-A-E-R. This is not unique, I know that, but I'm gonna take it anyways. Microfusion cell overcharge, scrap electronics, scrap metal, sensor module, valence radii accentuator, which we will grab so that we can repair our own valence radar accentuator. Okay, we need to find the Gabriel's bark, which is that, is that what gets rid of the barriers? I'm not sure. Here's Gabe's digging spot though. It's a baseball. Oh. Do we have to kill Gabe? Should I have not have killed Gabe? I mean, what kind of life is this though? I think I kind of did him a solid, maybe. I, I'm i wondering if there's genuinely even a choice if you can or cannot kill Gabe. I don't know. I guess I'll look at Twitch chat after this episode ends to see if I royally messed up. I mean, because we could just... We could just sneak around and get the spots, or not even sneak and just grab the spots and try to keep them alive. He didn't even have anything unique on him. Do I want to just, like, do that? All right, you know what? A A A Avery would definitely have a soft spot for doggies. So, all right, we'll reload and we'll try to just, like... I think even on Very Hard, we'll be able to just run through and grab all of the dig spots. Even though Gabe is literally trying to murder me. So, I'm being quite a nice guy here by not murdering Gabe in self-defense. In literal self-defense. Uh, there's a Foot Locker here as well, which has some bottle caps. Very nice. Let's do a neat little jump around the thing. What up, Gabe? Just looking through your dig spots. No need to attack me, buddy. Just looking through your dig spots in an effort to find... No, no, no. See, you don't need to do that, actually. 
Gabe looking for... Ah, there it is. Audio sample, Gabriel's Bark. Uh, let's see. Energy cells, potato crisps. You have found a recalibration file for the sonic emitter. Take it to the jukebox in the sink to recalibrate the sonic emitter for new effects. Fantastic. Now, Gabe, is there anything unique in here that you might have? Gabe! Achievement unlocked, spinal tapped. The Gabriel's Bark audio frequency sample has been uploaded to the think tank. That's fantastic. Okay, I got an achievement. Something about, I get. I think getting the, did we never, did I never do the DLCs on PC? I guess not. Holy moly, if Gabe chomps at us, he deals a massive amount of damage. Search Gabe's digging spots in the X8, right? Alright, we're gonna put our weapon away to move just a little bit faster. This is gonna be rough. Is it always gonna be in that one dig spot? Because it was one of these over here. Ashtray, baseball, pack of cigarettes. No thanks. What do we got in here? Yeah, it was this one. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I think we're just gonna leave. I just think we're just gonna leave. Oh, the little robo- Okay, Gabe, I wanna help you out, man. Yeah. Gosh dang, these things are beefy. Oh, they killed Gabe anyways! Man, I'm trying I'm trying my best to save Gabe here. Oh, Jesus. I wonder if he's scripted to die, because this seems like a big thing that happens. Okay, let's try to keep the scorpions near Gabe's body, and we'll just kill two birds with one stone. Or kill two scorpions with one explosion. <laughs> so many goddamn voices. Holy shit! Oh my god, please. It didn't even kill the scorpions, man. That just. I can't even hear what the hell is happening. There's just like a hundred people screaming in my ears. Okay, we lived. Boy, that wasn't as big of an explosion as I had thought it was gonna be. What an action packed episode. Some episodes we just have like dialogue from start to finish. This is an episode where. It is just murder, 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 murder central. All right, Gabe, I think Gabe's destined to die no matter what. If there's a way to save him, I, I gave it my best, man. I gave it my best. Like, like, what are we gonna do? It just wasn't meant to be. I'm so sorry, Gabe. Okay, let's go ahead and use a doctor's bag and then a stim pack. We're getting a lot of help from one stim pack because of the medical Prepare skill. to be attacked by Dr. Mobius. Or, you know, Dr. Mobius, you don't have to attack me. Again, we've already killed, like, quite a few enemies this episode. Like, we could, we could just chill. And these scorpions are beefy as hell. I think we might have to go back down to hard. Or maybe even, like, medium, because that's not really what this playthrough is about. Shooting bullet sponges over and 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 wasting all my ammo. Also, speaking of ammo, do we have a different ammo type? Yeah, we have bulk. I don't know anything about New Vegas ammo types. So we only have a little bit of bulk ammo... Does this deal, like, more damage? What's the difference here? I have no idea. It seems to not deal any damage. Okay, let's try the Proton Axe. I have no I have no idea how much damage these things do. I'm assuming it's a lot since they're so damn... Yep, it's quite a lot. Okay. Again, I need to watch my stim pack usage because we can't go back to the Brotherhood of Steel bunker. Until we finish things. Yeah. Okay, this guy's about to die. No, not you. Mm. Okay, Pew Pew does a decent amount of damage if it crits. If it doesn't crit, it might as well be shooting, like, literal toilet paper. Which I guess we all would hope for right now. It being a coronavirus plague. <laughs> oh, you need to land the shot. Yes, I'm hitting your Robo Scorpion. Yeah, we've established that. Okay, here. There we go. Yeah, we need some crits with Pew Pew. Otherwise, this thing sucks. Pew Pew only has two shots. If I miss and if it doesn't crit, 
There's no reason to use this weapon at all. We will go this entire episode on very hard difficulty just to see how it feels. Since we're doing uh, the hardest difficulty, since we're doing legendary on Skyrim. Okay, so now we got Gabriel's Bark frequency. Uh, we're going to repair this with the combat armor we picked up. Is that the free... Okay, but we're going to do everything in X8 since we're here, right? So we have X8 data retrieval test. Activate institutional data retrieval test advanced at the X8 test terminal. Sonic emitter, begin the advance. Okay, so both of these are the same thing. Uh, which one do we want to do? Uh, probably this one, I guess? All right. Gosh, that, that took a long time. Just purely from a combat standpoint. Okay, let's put Pew Pew away. Goodbye, Pew Pew. Now, hello. Enter institutional data retrieval. Enter residential cyber dog guard test. Well, there's no reason to do that, but it's good to know we can go back if there is a unique weapon. I need to research, actually, all the unique weapons for um, uh, uh, Old World Blues, because I haven't. I don't know everything that's unique. There's a lot of unique stuff in this DLC, and apparently some of it's missable. So hopefully we're not doing anything that would make it missable. I don't feel like we are. Kind of worried. Well, let's do this. Advanced test. Yeah, for this test, you must use any means necessary to retrieve three student files from an average high school. Utilize the field disruptor capacitance module for the sonic emitter to batter to better navigate the area. Protectrons and basic security pro protocols have been activated. Success retrieve three student files. Failure security measures prohibit you from retrieving the files. Upgrade the sonic emitter. I was gonna say that sounds like we need to upgrade this first of all. Upgrade the sonic emitter. Yeah. So we can't even do this. We have to go back to the jukebox, right? God, this whole thing is so confusing, man. Every single time. Because there's so many different frequencies for the... Oh my god. It's not happening, dude. It's not happening. No, 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 no. I'm going to jump around here if you don't mind. Okay, and we are out. We are out, I said. Jeez Louise, dude. Oh my god. One at a time, please. I cannot understand what anybody is saying. Everybody's shrieking. Okay, let me let me fast. Thank you so much. Gosh, this has been hectic. Okay, let's see. We need to go back to no 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 no. We need to go back to the think tank. We can go to the sink balcony as well. Yeah, so the think tank will take us back to all the robots. We need to go back to the to the the sink though because this is where the jukebox is. I'm assuming we could just utilize the jukebox considering this is a part of the main quest, right? Oh my god, I actually have to find the jukebox thing. How do I upgrade the damn... Do you upgrade it here? Holy crap. Upgrade the sonic emitter. Enter the testing area. Well, if we can actually enter the testing area, maybe we don't even have to do the cyber dog or the Gabriel's bark. Or maybe it's a part of it already? I, I, uh, this is another instance of like just being mega, mega confused. Okay, let's go back to the X8 Research Center and just see if we can pop in there and then do this. Are these scorpions still at the front? Okay, I am not dealing with that, dude. No, 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 no. That is too much. Do I have like a big ass weapon? I mean, I have thump thump. Good old thump thump. Yeah! Maybe this will do the trick. Yeah! Yeah! You have way too much HP, you damn scorpions. But I know you can't get me up on the table. Can you? Okay, God, we've been fighting scorpions for like 25 minutes straight. Destroy this one. Yeah, but it's gonna be somewhat of a. You know, yeah, but you're going to lose out on materials, okay? You, you don't have infinite materials, hopefully. Do you? I don't know, Dr. Mobius. You seem to have quite a lot of scorpions under your command. It is true. I will give you that one. I see you. Now I end you. Yeah, I think you're going to need the big scorpion to end me, though. These things are fine. Ow! Unless they hit me. I feel like I'm playing Call of Duty Zombies in Black Ops again, where, where, where you can get on the table. Get on the table and kill the uh, kill all the zombies. And I think it was called Nine. It was like the one that the one that shipped with Call of Duty Black Ops. That is a big. That is a big. That's like a that's a really old thing. God, it's so old now. It makes me sad how old that is. It was like a big thing in high school. Yeah. God. Okay. Very hard is probably a mistake. Nevertheless, all right. So we can enter the test facility. I'm gonna say before we do that. As you can see, this is quite tricky. I saved over the thumbnail again. Gosh darn it. Oh well. 
We'll find a way. Okay, now. Attention, students. This is the pre recorded voice of your pre recorded principal, Dr. Principal Boros. Yeah? That's it? I was gonna wonder if he was gonna say the same exact thing twice. Okay. Field disruptor download terminal. So I just, I should have just trusted the map markers because you have to actually get it here. I don't remember this terminal being in this corner. Sonic emitter data. Download EM pulse wave module. Sonic emitter EM pulse wave unlocked. The sonic emitter can disable force fields. Son of a bitch. See, it's so confusing because they say you have to go back to the jukebox to get like other frequencies for the sonic emitter. But this one you just get here. So that's why I'm confused. Attached to this message is the data I collected regarding the EM pulse wave module's effect on our force field emitters. I'm sending the prototype weapon your way for testing. Please forward this on to Olin as soon as you can determine how we might shield our emitters from this weapon's EMP effect. Dr. Callus. Okay. 50 energy cells added to... Oh, that's nice. So, that is for this really shitty weapon here. That doesn't seem to do much, but maybe I'm just not using it correctly. Oh my gosh, I really need a new Xbox One controller. So Sonic Emitter Revelation. EMP bonus damage versus robots, power armor, critical strike paralysis. Which all sounds very well and good, but it's actually not that great. So we're going to put that up there because we're probably not going to use the silence pistol whatsoever. And now, does this just disable barriers? Ah! Why was that a quest? Oh, the Sonic Emitter upgrade. We got a level out of it, too. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Wait, there's dogs attacking me. Hold on. Okay, this thing's hard to use. Because it takes a while to fire. But you look look at the... Da oh, but it paralyzes. Yeah, I keep forgetting. <laughs> Are you okay, buddy? I'm so sorry about this. I'm sure my Twitch chat isn't too hyped up on me killing so many dogs. But I have to. There's no way. I have to. Okay, there's a level up. Le level up? There's no enemies around. Oh, we're in caution, though. Maybe if we just stick here for like a second, it'll reset. Or not. Is level 50 the maximum, by the way? I'm forgetting. Or did they make it 60? Because it was 30, right? Before the DLCs. And then there's four DLCs and each one's five. So 5, 10, 15, 20, plus 30. It should be 50, which means we're like two levels off of the maximum level. I think. Unless I'm forgetting, like, if it goes up to 60 or something. It does sound like it is 50, though, because we are pretty close on maxing any and all skills for Avery. So it would make a lot of sense. Okay, so now this piece of crap gun... Actually, it's probably not that bad since it does paralyze things, which, you know... If we've played... If you played Skyrim or Elder Scrolls, you know that paralyzation is a very strong effect. So it's probably good in that respect, but I prefer damage. But look, it now disables barriers, so we can fully explore Big Mountain, which is awesome. Because a big part of this DLC is pure exploration. So, I totally forgot we needed this. Uh, there's a proton... Oh, throwing axe. I forgot about that. Uh, so, yeah, we can get into the little nooks and crannies now. Um, and we've already done this, but we need to do it again. So, we need to find... Why are the turrets back? Oh, it kind of reset the entire floor, I guess. That's perfectly fine. We have a literal EMP gun, which you would think would do more damage against robots. But you can see it really doesn't do much at all. Really doesn't do much at all. You have to basically just fire this thing over and over. I do want to see how much the critical damage does, though. If we can land a crit... God, it's almost like I don't even have 10 luck, which I absolutely do. Which determines, like, how often you crit. Uh, crit. It, it is how often... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. You shit around every corner. It destroys the turrets, at least. Oh, because we got a critical strike. Yeah, we're getting critical strikes, but it is not dealing good damage. It is not dealing good damage. So I think we'll use Pew Pew instead. <laughs> yeah. Energy weapons are such fun. Okay, there's a Protectron in here somewhere. Oh! Yeah, Pew Pew's real good when you land crits. And when you don't land crits, you're sad. You're a sad, sad, sad man. Okay, dodge, duck, dive, duck, and dodge. Come on! Critical strike. God, this thing is tanky. You know what? Wait, 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 wait. Let's use that proton throwing axe. EMP bonus damage versus robots and power armor. Very nice. Uh, let's put that up where our frag grenades are and try that out. 
<laughs> I don't think I've ever used like the proton throwing axes, by the way. So yeah, I, that that's that, as I said, that's the fun thing about Twitch and the fun thing about uh, YouTube Please. these days for me is that I've done all this shit so much that it's like it's so fun to try out the new stuff. Okay. Retrieve student records. Now, is it the same student records? It is. Richie Marcus's midterms, midterm grades, which if it's the same, it's all going to be Fs, and science is going to be F minus minus. Yep, it's the same thing. Okay, so it's the same thing twice. It's just now you can use the um, the barrier removal. I'll st I'm no, I'm already I'm already in the open, pal. Let me just get up to you. Uh, yeah, so Richie Marcus is the guy's student file that we just picked up. This is going to be the, 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 oh yeah, Cherry O'Bannon, who's just like inconsequential. The last student file that we need is going to be Dr. Boris's crush. Forget what her name is, like Betsy something. Oh! Oh! God, just imagine all the cybernetics hitting you in the face. That's a lot of kickback. No! Don't miss with Pew Pew. It sucks. Quick. Oh my god. I have such a habit of just like miss missing off of a pixel with these energy weapons, man. I have guns and energy weapons maxed out. You'd think I'd be like nailing these shots better. Okay. Oh no, it jammed. Why did it jam? No, no, no. I hit bulk by accident. Just put it back on the normal thing, dude. I don't know anything about other ammo types in New Vegas because like with the other Elder Scrolls and Fallout games, I've just never had to like use them because I played on very easy difficulties. Which is why I'm taking, I'm relishing the opportunity to play on harder difficulties these days. Thank you. Okay, let's reload that. Let's see. Another rat away. Nice. Let's sleep for an hour while there's robots everywhere. Oh, finally, the level up. Oh my god, I totally forgot about that. Uh, okay, we're going to max out sneak now. Or at least get it, like, to 50. That would be good. And I think we do get a perk. Indeed, we do. So this is, like, the second to last perk. Yeah, because we're going to get one at level 50 as well. And I think level 50 is the final one. In fact, I guess we can see if we go down here and, like, see what the last... Yeah, level 50. All the last ones are level 50. So yeah, we're two levels off the max here. Okay, what do we want? Let's see. Certified tech. This is the disable robots thing, right? Or more... 25% chance to score critical hits against... <laughs> that actually would be amazing in this DLC. Your knowledge of robotic components allows you to break them more easily and salvage... Their mechanical corpses. You have a 25% chance to score critical hits against robots. More useful components on robots you destroy. It actually would be pretty good on this DLC particularly. But then once we're out of this DLC, I don't know. Uh, we can sleep outside and we get well, well rested. I'm going to forget to do that all the time. Uh, that's experience, which we're already near the end here, so it doesn't matter at all. What do I want? Do we have any new ones? I want to see if there's any new ones that stand out to me. What a center of mass... Vats. I'm barely using vats at all anymore because it's fun to try and not use vats. You know what I mean? Pyromaniac, fire based damage, right? Fast metabolism, health bonus with stim packs, math, wrath, tribal wisdom. Limbs take 50% less damage for animals, mutated animals, and mutated insects. You gain 25% resistance to poison. Can eat mutated insects. Not, nah, dude. Oh, you can eat mutated insects when you're in sneak mode. I didn't even know that was a perk because I never take survival. Uh, considerably more ammunition. We have so much ammunition, though. Sleeping with all the benefits that sleep brings. Grunt. 25% more damage with 9mm, 45 auto pistols and SMG, service rifles, assault rifles, marksman carbines, light machine guns, frag grenades, grenade rifles. Holy shit. What out of these do we even use, though? Mainly just grenade rifles. Uh, commando, accuracy and vats, nah. Mad bomber? At workbenches, you have special explosives recipes. Huh. Lead belly, hand loader. None of these are too particularly stand out. Explos explosions do more damage. Wearing light armor or no armor, you run 10% faster. Holy shit. What do you need for this? Survival 45. That explains it. I love being fast, dude. I gotta go for it. Yeah. Okay. We gotta wear light or no armor. So let's take a look at what we got currently. This is medium, son of a bitch. I knew it. 
Uh, let's put this on and repair it with this one. Damn, dude. Damn. Did we take it off? <laughs> Alright, we gotta look for the first opportunity to switch to light. I know there's like an assassin suit or something in this in this DLC. Bake sale Friday, fight the red menace with cookies. That's my preferred way of defeating communism. Cookies, definitely. Uh, we can probably repair our authority glasses with normal eyeglasses since we have jury rigging. Okay, well, she. All right, we need to look for any opportunity, yeah, to switch to light armor. And I'm wondering what the best things would be. We already have, like, an assassin suit from... All right, let's do this. Hey, now you wait your turn. I'm gonna zap you. I'm gonna zap you. You're being a bad doggy. We have so much ammo for this. My God. Okay, where are the stairs going up? Let's switch back to Pew Pew. Pew Pew's not bad. Uh, in the first episode we used it, wasn't that great. But now it's all right. It's quite all right, indeed. What is up, everybody, in Twitch chat? Hello, if you're new here... Girls! Ew! Girls! God, every time I'm near my girlfriend, I tell her, you stand at least 10 feet away from me and we'll have a nice relationship. Because I do not want cooties. That's the last thing I want. Especially in this environment going on in the world today. Is that a joke in poor taste? Probably. I didn't think about it too much before I said it. God damn, this thing just does no damage or all the damage. Here, let's use this. No, not a stim pack. This. Okay, dodge, duck, dive, duck, and dodge. Ah! What? Look at the damage! Jesus Christ! Beefiest dog in history. Bah! Bah! Yeah, it's kind of boring. So we will switch from um, very hard difficulty uh, for the next episode for sure. Because, yeah, this is just kind of... Jesus Christ. Everything is way too tanky. They're not really deal dealing much damage to me, though. Yeah, in terms of very hard, it's not really very hard at all more like uh just uh waste your ammo mode you know what i mean okay we got one more student file to find speaking of girls it's gonna be dr boris so if, if anybody oh yeah what i was saying was uh if anybody's new in the chat uh usually we do one live recorded youtube episode per week so that's what we're doing right now so welcome in uh, i'm not talking to chat much because i'm trying to trying to stay on target here but uh welcome enjoy the Rest of the live streamed episode, and then we'll get into streaming as usual. Retrieve student records. This is going to be Betsy Bright. That's his, uh, yeah, that's his, that's his crush. So, yeah, if you didn't know, if you don't know what's happening, basically, Dr. Boris is one of the uh, scientists in the think tank, and he kind of, Jesus, he kind of set up this fake high school as a testing facility, but <laughs> it clearly goes back to his actual high school, because he has a, he has a thing against Richie Marcus as, as a bully. Dude, what am I getting stuck on? He has a thing against Richie Marcus, and he has a thing for Betsy, who Richie Marcus likes, unfortunately. Holy shit! Oh god, if we died here, that would be horrendous. Okay, you're just gonna fall down there. That works for me, actually. Okay, we got all the student files. Let's get the heck on out of here. Is this the way? Nice. Now, this testing facility is super. Complete the X8 advan- Oh my god, so many things popping up. From Find more information about the X8 test? Find more information. What the heck does that mean? So we've already been here. We already looked at the observatory terminal. Uh, this play. Oh yeah, there's the dogs playing poker, which we saw in the last episode as well. <laughs> uh, that's because we have wild wasteland. Notice the wild wasteland thing didn't pop up because we already saw that, so it didn't go. Also, I destroyed that barrier, so reset back to the norm. It reset, yeah, because I destroyed that barrier. It's weird how this testing facility works. Because there's like three different test facilities. It's kind of like Portal. If you've ever played Portal. They like rearrange the um, the testing rooms. Especially in Portal 2. I'm not even sure if that's a thing in Portal 1. But in Portal 2, they, they'll like rearrange all the testing facilities. It's quite interesting to say the least. Okay, how the heck do I get out of here? That goes to the kennel. Which we don't have a key for. Yeah, this place is confusing. This place is so massive. And I'm not even sure what's in the... Uh, Oh, yeah, that's the residential area where poor Gabe died. I think... Holy shit! No, 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 no. These guys deal a lot of damage. Nope. 
Oh my god, they don't take any on very hard. Look at that. They don't take a gosh dang lick of damage. Holy shit! No, 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 no. Dude, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, let's use vats. We've got a lobotomite here. Avery, you're one lucky man, but you have a 30% chance to hit. Let's hope that it happens. Avery! <laughs> Jesus. That's okay. That was likely to happen. Uh, ah. uh, ah. Oh, my God. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. Mm, no. Uh, ah. Woo! We are hammering our way through. Okay, so those are lobotomites if you're new here. Uh, they have been lobotomized, but still somehow know enough to be able to... Hunting revolver, is that new? No, that's definitely not new. Still somehow know how to operate guns and everything. Like, I feel like if they were... Ooh, dog and lobotomite splicing experiment holotape. Oh. So that's why we didn't come over here in the last episode. I see. Magnum rounds. If we need to look for holo, there's like a billion holo tapes in this DLC, so we need to not miss any because I'll have to go back and collect all of them. Thank you. Ooh, leather armor. Wait a second, is leather armor light? It is light. Okay, so now we'll move 10% faster. Can we repair that? We can repair that with a patient gown. Ugh, is the patient gown unique? If the patient gown's unique, hey, at least we had one, all right? So we had it at some point, okay? So I'm gonna repair that leather armor. It's probably a mistake to do that. But now we move 10% faster, I think. Is everything else that we have on light? Light, yeah, and light. Okay, neat. All right, so now we move 10% faster. Can I feel it? Yeah, I think I can. I think I do feel the 10%. Yeah. Okay, uh, X8 Observatory Terminal. So this one we have not read yet. Holy oh, shit, my voice. Shipping department, unusual shipment. Dr. Richardson, we've just received the latest shipment of dogs for the cyber dog experiment process. But, well, frankly, I think our supplier screwed us. The animals must be basically feral. Every time we get close to the shipping kennels, they let out with the most god-awful hissing. And, well, rattling is the only way I can describe it. Please advise, should we open the kennels or just send them back? Oh... Now I'm remembering the other part of X8. Where have we heard of dogs and rattling before? Hmm. Shipping department, please advise. So at Dr. Richardson's request, we opened one of those kennels from our latest shipment. The dog inside, and I use that term very loosely, appeared to be suffering from a truly horrendous case of mange. And upon being released, it immediately attacked, killed, and attempted to swallow whole specialist acres. Luckily, the situation has for now at least contained itself as SPC Acres was a very large man and the creature has choked to death. <laughs> Does anyone know anything about this shipment? Please advise. Shipping department in lockdown. In light of the large number of fatalities due to the latest shipment of experimental test subjects, the shipping department is going into lockdown. I give you my personal assurance that as soon as this plague of monsters has been dealt with, I will work overtime to get your deliveries to you in a timely and efficient manner. As I am currently the only surviving member of the shipping department, however, there may still be some delays. Until then, Dr. Callus and X-13 as the password for the area. Skippy, sole survivor. Regarding shipping department lockdown. In our last supervisor meeting, we discussed the possible benefits of the small shipping accident. We are considering studying the ex unexpected specimens behavior by releasing them into our test area before removing them from the x8 facility the shipping department will remain in lockdown until a decision has been reached dr adam figgis md phd dbm ddm dd test supervisor i already made the overcompensating joke for that guy right with all of his little degrees so find the key to the x8 kennels sonic emitter em pulse wave upgrade required which we already have right and then that's it for X8. So yeah, we'll do that. We'll finish X8 off entirely. And also take a look at our little health bar at the bottom left there. It should be regenerating, albeit very slowly due to the valence accentuator thingamajigger. Um, it does give you health regen. Plus the vault canteen gives you health regen as well, right? I don't think it's worth it though. I don't think, uh, I don't think it's like anything super duper significant because you can see how fast our health just gets decimated. Wait, where are we going for this? Find the key to the X8 kennels. Yeah, they probably talked about the location. I just glossed over it. I think there's a massive scorpion in the doorway here. There sure freaking is. 
Uh, okay, we're gonna use vats for this. Hello! What do we target? We got its big old tail laser, its stinger. Yeah, let's go for that, it's a 90% chance. That damage is pitiful, man. All right, Pew Pew, it's up to you. Do you end me the- Oh God, you might end me, hold on. Okay, we're gonna jump all over the place. Use the pillars to our advantage. Try not to miss any shots with Pew Pew. I don't know what other weapons to use to deal more damage, man. Yeah, that's great, but I'll get experience, so I'll be even stronger. You make as many as you want. Stop that. You'll damage the hull. That's the intention, Dr. Mobius, and why don't we work together, man? No! Ugh, that went, like, right through his little stinger. Yep. Good night! What do you got for me? Jesus! Why? Why did that have to happen after I already succeeded? Okay, out we go. Dude, enough! Enough! The thing's over. Enough with this. You gotta stop, man. It's been one after another. Just Robo Scorpion Central. Okay, where the heck are we going for this key? I gotta check the world map, but I can't because we won't be able to fast travel. Alright, let's try to platform. Did you know that Fallout New Vegas is a platformer? Check this out. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Almost. Boom. Achievement unlocked. Okay. Where's this last thing? Let's take a look at the map. It better not be in some ran- Oh god, it is in some random place. Oh no. X13? What? It's an X13? Are you kidding? Well, we're not doing that. All right. <laughs> Why is that there? Yeah, because we have a quest for X13, which is probably going to be really good to do because I think if I remember right, this is going to give us the ultimate stealth. Well, the ultimate light equipment. So we want to do that next for sure since we got that uh, move 10% faster perk. But we don't have too much time left in this light ep uh, live episode. So let's do this again. All my friends have off switches. Find the missing modules for the sink, auto dock, and the biological research station. So where are these at? What? Magnetohydraulics Complex and X-22 Bo Botanical Garden. Do we have an X-22 quest? We don't. So, let's go there. How do we go there? The sink balcony, but then that would put us, like, out here. Yeah, you know, honestly, God, when you first play games, I know everybody knows this feeling. When you first play games as a kid, like, everything is so massive, man. It's just, like... Everything feels so much bigger in real life and in the video game world. You know, you like go to Disney World and it's like, oh, oh, there's so many things everywhere and they're so big and like each little like piece of the park feels like its own world. It really does. And then you grow up and you just get cynical and you realize it's not like that at all. Everything's very small and economical. <laughs> but um, yeah, man, this entire DLC. Ooh. This entire DLC felt so massive when I first played it, but then looking at this map, it's like, we can walk from one side to the other in a pretty quick pace. But I do love this DLC, and I can't wait, I can't wait to fully explore each little location. I'm gonna savor that. So definitely try to make the Twitch stream if you can, because that'll be a fun one, trust me. I already have a lot of fun exploring just the, like, lame locations in, in Vanilla Mojave. You know, just like, um, hey, this is a railroad that has a sunset cap. I always enjoy, I, I still enjoy that. So, to in, so, you know, this being a DLC, they obviously tried to, like, spruce all that stuff up. Spruce the exploration up, because people had to pay for this extra. Right in the tuchus! Okay, let's go this way. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really going to savor exploring all the locations in Big MT. It's going to be a lot of fun. Also, yes, I do know the Easter egg over here. Is it a Wild Wasteland thing? Maybe. Uh, but I am aware of it, if you were... Expecting me not to be... Nope. Uh, where is the entrance to this? Down there. Okay, don't die, Avery. Uh, I think I said, like, Avery. Avery. Not Avery. Yeah, boy. Magnetohydraulics complex. God, shut up, Dr. Mobius. Dude, stop. All right, let's go in here and try to see what this... Maybe we should just fully explore this, because I don't know if this is quest-related or what. Let's try to use a little bit of stealth. What is that? Oh, yeah, these things. Waking, walking eye. Oh, that's right. This is like a wild wasteland thing. What is the deal with this one? Is it like a Minority Report reference? Because in Minority Report, there's uh, little eyeballs. It's creepy as shit. I won't spoil the movie, but there's little walking eyeballs that do some bad things. Great movie, by the way, if you like sci-fi. Uh, minority Report with Tom Cruise. 
Anyways, I think that might be a reference to that, actually. I'll look it up uh, once this episode ends, though. Okay, let's see. Or leave it in the comments if anybody has a... Has a thing to say about it. Yeah, but they're just walking eyes. I feel like that is a Minority Report reference, if I remember right. Here we have a Sync Project Sync. Which is weird, because the Sync already talks. So what is this for? Note added Sync Project Sync? What? This holotape contains the functionality profile for the Sync Robotic Assistant Sync, but it's already functional. So that's kind of odd. Dog and Lobotomite Splicing Experiment Holotape. This holotape contains dog and lobotomite splicing data that can be used at the X8 Biomechanical Splicing Terminal. And in fact, I left a note on the last episode to splice the things, because I don't know if I ever did that. So we have now two other things to splice. Uh, audio sample Gabriel's Bark. This holotape contains the audio sample of Gabriel's Bark. It can be used to modify the sonic emitter weapon at the Sync's jukebox. Okay, so that is an upgrade for the jukebox if we get the jukebox Sync stuff. This is so confusing. Is everybody on the same track? Because I am. <laughs> I think. But yeah, all of this is... This DLC was very confusing for my infantile high school brain when I first played this. I didn't understand a lot of the humor. I didn't understand a lot of what, what the heck was happening with all the different facilities and everything. Okay, let's save the game here. And we'll fully explore this Magneto Hydraulics, Magneto Hydraulics location. There's definitely a room over there. Uh, good opportunity to equip the rebreather. So we can breathe infinitely in the water. So far, no like unique weapons or anything, but we are getting some ammo, which is nice. Tool cabinet, tool cab tool cabinets don't really ever have anything I want, as far as I can tell. All right, let's keep an eagle eye out for anything that we may want to pick up. Toaster? We're gonna do something with the toaster in this DLC, that's for sure, but not that toaster. No! Oh my god, dude, this Xbox 360 controller is really, really, really annoying. For Fallout New Vegas specifically, what did I just pick up? Pack of cigarettes. No! I just took all. Gosh darn it. Ugh. Miscellaneous. Get that crap out of my inventory. It's got to be clean. It's got to be pure. How many times do I got to say it? Coffee mug. Blech. Wait, we want coffee mugs, don't we? Yeah, what's ironic is we actually want coffee mugs. Okay, put that away. And then put the uh, put the pack of cigarettes away. Ugh. Avery would definitely be a cigarette smoking dude, but, you know, doesn't mean we have to actually do it. Okay, let's head down here. Anything cool? Man, this place is really small, actually. Magnum rounds, whole bunch of ammo, nice. Anything on the desk? We do want coffee mugs, right? I think we do, yeah. I think we got to start saving up for a lot of coffee mugs, if I remember right. Anything down there? That's closed off. Nothing in the filing cabinets. Really, nothing out? That's it? For a name like the Magneto Hydraulic Sphere, I was expecting like a big, giant, crazy thing. Nothing of the sort, though. Just basically an upgrade to the sink. Any like little hidden stuff over this way, maybe? Mm -mm. How much time we got left? We got about two minutes left in the episode. Maybe we can go grab the final piece. There's a lot of little pieces to this puzzle, though. This is not going to be the only one. Um, but maybe we can grab the last one for this particular leg of the quest. So the last one is an X-22. Which kind of sucks, because we're like in this little gem... We're like in this little gem... Starts with a C. What is it? It's like a crevasse? No, but it's like a canyon. No. Like in, like in Minecraft, when you find... Like ravine? But ravine involves water, right? So it's not this. Oh, maybe we can find that uh, wild wasteland thing. Crevasse? Canyon? I must be thinking of Canyon. Yeah, there's a wild wasteland thing down here. I don't know exactly where it is. It's it's somewhere with these red crystals. We'll find it later. X-22 Botanical Garden. Awesome. That's where we need to go. Holy sh Jesus Christ, dude. I'm getting jump scared and gosh darn fall at New Vegas. Are you kidding? Okay, I'm not even bothering with this, man. There's too many of these plants and I dealt with them enough. Oh, and the plant people are back. Oh, Jesus. Dude, pull out the weapon. I pressed right on the D-pad. Ugh. Oh no! Shh. Hold still, you plant asshole! Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! We're getting shot! What are you doing, dude? It's already enough, man. Without the oh god, we might actually die here. I don't have any stim packs. I have left. Oh shit! Okay, very hard is very hard in situations like this. Uh -huh.
My accuracy is falling by the wayside as well. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Leave me alone, dude, please. <laughs> Did that really miss? Oh shit. Oh, oh my god, where did these come from? Okay, we're doing it, 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 we're doing it. We're doing it, just dodge, duck, dive, duck, and dodge. Boom. Dude, all my stim packs are gonna be gone. What is it? Get the f You almost made me say the F word, dude. On YouTube. Holy Jesus Christ. Where is the... Where is the thing? There, it's right there. Grab it. Thank you. Okay, we need to get the frick out of here, man. Try not to say the F-bomb on YouTube. Your armor condition is dangerously low. Yeah, you think? Dude, I can't even get past those things. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Damn it! We were going so far. That was, that was way too rough. It's like a hundred enemies at once, dude. Mr. Gutsies, are you kidding me? Oh, uh, where are we? Oh, we're right back here. Oh, oh, yeah, why not? Why not? All right, I said we were going to do this whole thing on very hard. You bet your bottom dollar we are. And we are not failing either. We're going to go grab that thing. We're getting out. I want to kill everything, but that ain't happening, dude. We're not killing everything in that situation. No way. We're going to grab the uh, whatever the last little sync upgrade is. And we are jumping our butts out of there. We're getting out. That's too many plant people, man. And I, as soon as I heard botanical, I was like, is this going to be a Vault 22? Oh, it's called X-22, too. That's got to be a direct reference, right? To literally Vault 22, which has all the plant douchebags. Okay, thank you. Oh, 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 my green. Pick up the, just interact with it. It's a, it's a mug. It's a mug. Jesus. All right, get me out. Get me out. I'm done. I'm done. Enjoy your plant bullshit. Goodbye. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Okay, we're gonna spam the back button, try to get the heck on out of here. Jeez Louise, that is not good for my, almost said cholesterol levels. Okay, this scorpion is the last thing standing between us and freedom. Oh my God, they're behind me now. Oh shit. Okay, very hard. We tried it as an experiment. Not fun, just very hard. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, microfusion cells, yes, mentats, no. Okay, okay, there is so much crap behind me. Uh, jump. What's this? Oh. Okay, grab the location. Grab the location. Quick. There we go. Forbidden zone dome entrance. We're not going to worry about that just yet. It's forbidden for a reason. We got to come back to that later. Get me out of here, dude. Get me out. What is behind me? Dude, these dudes. Dude, these dudes. What an intelligent statement. Well, at least we're grabbing all of the... I've never seen such smart AI that can actually, like, traverse all the... Oh, my God. Usually you can trip up Fallout AI. Usually they're not this smart. Okay, y'all need to die now. Patient Zero. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're called something. Okay, yeah, you all have fun. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Spam the back button. We need to get out. This is like Death Valley. There's a real life Death Valley. Well, this is Fallout. This is Fallout's version. Okay, come on, man. Get me out of here, dude. There's no enemies. There's enemies every... You little bitch! Dude, they won't... They will not leave me alone. Oh, my God! Get me out of here! Is it... Are we back at X-22? Unbelievable. Okay, I need to kill these guys now, but they're so fast. It's so hard to hit them. Oh! Hmm. Uh. Dude, all my stim packs are gone. That's gonna make this so hard. Dude, you need to die! Thank you, Jesus. 20 years later. All right, get me out. <laughs> There's enemies everywhere down here. And these guys just like keep appearing. Oh my God, it's so hard to hit them. What's my melee weapon right now? The proton axe. All right, it's gonna have to do. It's gonna have to do. Achievement unlocked, New Vegas Samurai. Dealing damage with melee. Die! Dude, worst enemies I have ever dealt with in Let's 100% New Vegas so far are those two gosh darn plant people. Holy God. This holotape contains a functionality profile for the Sync Robotic Assistant Biological Research Station. Great. Great. Get me out. <laughs> Go back to the sink, please. Holy Jesus. That was rough. That was rough. They were on my tail. They were on me like white on rice. Do we have any sunset set? Yeah, man. I need to kick back. I need to kick back. 
Oh, thank you. Okay, so what is this quest even? Was the quest updated? Was the quest updated, I wonder? It was, yeah. Find the missing modules for the light switches and the jukebox. So yeah, there's like a hundred parts to this quest. There's basically like a hundred, there's like eight or nine different like little modules in the sink. And you can find like functionality and personality, I think for each one. Uh, I don't remember if it's like one for each one or if you have to find like two for each one. I don't remember, but either way, there's a lot of sync stuff to find. Uh, but it's all worth it. It's really, really cool. And I won't give away why. You'll just, you'll just see. Either way, we're calling that an episode. That was intense. And I think the only way to end this is to go to gameplay and turn this back. No, no. Heart. No. No, 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 no. I really, see, look. See how this all like jacks all the way all the time to different like things. Really need a new Xbox controller. That is so annoying. It's specifically this game. It's like so finicky, the uh, settings especially. We're going to go back to hard. Yeah, we're going to go back to hard. That's going to get really frustrating really fast. Nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. Uh, these live episodes are a lot of fun. To anybody that made it to the end tier, I think what I'm going to do is like maybe switch off doing Skyrim and New Vegas. Like one week this, one week that. Uh, these live streamed episodes are a lot of fun, so that's, uh, really... I I'm glad to see people like them now, because, you know, when I first started, it was very divisive. But, uh, they're always a lot of fun, uh, because sometimes they're just hectic as hell, but... Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support this channel, please consider liking the video and becoming a patron over on Patreon. If you'd like to see, uh, high-quality pictures of my pets, well, you can find it there. Uh, and I'll see you all in the next episode, which might be Skyrim? We'll just see on Monday. Bye! Hey, it's me, GV. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to catch me live on Twitch, the schedule and link is below. If you'd like to go the extra mile and support me and what I do, consider becoming a patron. You get all sorts of fun little things. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.